Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you have stumbled across this video, welcome. My name is Katie and I post videos every Monday and Thursday and I hope you subscribe to my channel before you leave today. Lots of fun exciting things are happening and speaking of which, happy Thursday. I am really happy to have you with me today and for today's how-to video we are going to be talking about how to do an everyday eye. Not that smoky but a little bit more than your basic type of eye. This is the eye that I came up with. I did a really, really baby, baby wing. Of course, you don't have to do a wing if you don't want to. I definitely feel no matter your skill set level, whether you're a beginner or more advanced and want to just see something different, I definitely feel this is a type of eye that anyone, anyone and everyone can achieve. And stay tuned toward the end of the video because I do go over some different lip colors from a couple different brands. I definitely feel this type of eye is very easy to pair with any type of color of a lip, no matter where you're going or what you're doing. Um, so I think that's all I have for the intro for this video. And if you want to learn how to get this eye, then let's put our makeup on. So we are going to be starting off with the none other MAC Paintily Paint Pot just to kind of cancel out any darkness on the lid and obviously to make sure that nothing creases throughout the day. So all the colors that I am going to be using for today's look is from the Marc Jacobs The Lolita Palette. I am in love with this palette. It is so gorgeous, so beautiful. So I'm first starting off with a light transition shade. It's a nice light mid-tone brown color with a fluffy brush just to kind of give some definition to the creased first and foremost. Next, we are taking this shade right here on a flat shader brush, and I actually did wet my brush with some setting spray and taunting my eye a little bit just to make sure that I don't have any fallout, and I definitely am making sure to pat it, place it first, and then kind of blend it out a little by little. This color definitely is a beautiful shade to give some brightness to the eye. So popping that all over my lid and then I'm taking the shade right next to it to the right and popping that a little bit on in the inner corner for some extra brightness as well. And then I'm going in with the darkest shade in the palette. I am so sorry if my camera is a little blurry. I definitely think my camera was a little drunk. So I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette and I'm fluffing it ever, ever so slightly in the outermost corner of the eye and a little bit in the crease area as well. I definitely didn't want this look to be too, too smoky, but again, just wanted a little bit of extra definition. So I'm just kind of looking back and forth of the eye that I did off camera just to make sure that they are symmetrical. Obviously, we want symmetry in this look just so nothing is crazy or wonky and I'm just going back and forth little by little with the brush and my original blending brush. Taking the lighter color in the palette and I'm popping a little bit of this on the brow bone area. Definitely wanted to give my brows a little bit of a lift to the eye look and of course popping that same color a little bit more on the inner corner just for some extra blending as well. Taking this shade right here on that same flat shader brush, this shade is a little bit more on the sparkly side and I'm just popping that all over the lid and again, once more, going black in, black in, back in with that blending brush. And then for liner today, I'm going to be going in with the Lancome Art Liner Liquid and this guy, it has a really nice small little felt tip to it. I love this liner. I'm actually running low, which makes me really sad. So I'm going in and just making a very, very small little baby wing. I think an extreme type of winged eyeliner is definitely not practical for every day. So obviously, of course, you could do whatever type of liner or no liner. So whatever you feel comfortable with. Definitely did not want to leave the inner rim naked. So I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Inner Rim Liner for obviously a little extra brightness because why not? And then for mascara today, the Super Sizer Mascara from CoverGirl is definitely one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. I love the wand to this one and I just love the way it makes my lashes look, oh my god, so good. <laughs> 
So lastly, just to finish off the eyes, obviously you could leave this under eye part blank if you wanted to, but I wanted to give a little bit extra something, that way we don't look naked under there. So I'm just going in with the two shades that I used on the crease area, the lighter brown color and then that darkest brown color, smudging it ever so gently and lightly on the lower lash line. And again, definitely didn't want to make this too smoky so again just keeping it nice and light and just finishing everything off with the mascara on the lower lashes so let's get into the lips but that's pretty much it for the eyes really wanted to show you guys how this eye look pairs with different lip colors so this is going to be the nude option this is NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in the shade ruffle trim definitely beautiful for every day and then this guy is the pink option this is milk cosmetics lip color in the shade gnarly definitely my favorite one out of all of them i definitely think this is beautiful for spring and summer and then the purple option i have is a lip color from dior and i definitely think this is really really pretty in any type of purple lip color i really do love purples and i feel like i don't wear them enough so this is the purple option the red option we have is the Lancome, what do you call it? The Lancome Absolute Rouge number 132. I think red and this eye look is so classic, so elegant. Definitely a staple and timeless type of makeup look. And then the last option I have is a darker, vampy, winter sexy option. This is the Kevin Aquan Matte Lip Color in the shade Blood Rose. Definitely a really pretty color that pairs well with this eye looks. So that is it for today's tutorial. I went back to the lippy from Milk Cosmetics. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite lip color to pair this type of eye with. I would love to know. And I think that's all I have for today's video. And of course, I will have everything that I use, including the rest of the makeup that I did wear in today's video, all down below. So don't forget to check the description box for all that. And make sure you come back next Thursday for a brand new how-to video. I do have a playlist of all my how-to tutorials in the bottom down below. So if you want to see a playlist of all my videos so far, then definitely check that out. And of course, I hope you subscribe uh, to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I think that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I shall see you in the next video. Have a great day guys. Bye!